what killed Australia's giants. Stood about two metres tall at the shoulder, three and a half metres long, weighed over two tonnes. So it's about the size of your urban SUV. Five lumbering giants have gathered by the water's edge. There is a new member of the family. At nine months, this Joey is exploring his surroundings, spending less time in his mother's protective couch. Diprotodons were widespread across much of Ice Age Australia. Males were much larger than females, suggesting they could have lived in small family groups characterised by one dominant male. Their large nasal cavities might have been used to make deep, grunting calls. Like koalas today, low frequencies would have allowed them to maintain social communication over long distances. Animals were forced to move through the mud to get to the shrinking water supply. And the heavier the animal, the more likely it was to get trapped in a muddy grave. Fortunately for this family of giants, they've safely navigated the perils of the lake. Despite its mother's best efforts, this baby diprotodon cannot go on. And the megafauna are suddenly being confronted with all these changes. So watching him come up the creek and have a drink and maybe browsing, seeing this big animal. Malay, grazing and drinking. 